Welcome back. Snow, especially the wet, heavy variety we got yesterday, presents a certain opportunities for creativity. It sure does. You can build a snowman, of course, maybe a snow fort, or you can go even bigger, like <laughs> what they did at this house over in Macomb County. Tim Pamplin joins us live. And Tim, we do understand there's been a little mishap there. What's going on? <laughs> there was, there you see, Jameson putting some finishing touches to it. We're going to call it Jameson the Giraffe. Will you look at this? Isn't this amazing? There's a creator right there. And this has brought the entire neighborhood out. Take a look. There's been a steady stream of onlookers, cameras at the ready. We had people probably till about 11 o'clock. Well, at least that's when I know they came because that's when I went to bed. For Jameson, who's a local real estate broker, this is a passion. I'm always looking for something new and fun to do in the snow. He posted this video to his Facebook page last night. By midday today, over 10,000 views. <laughs> Just because I'm a giant kid. And talking of kids, Jameson's three children also get involved collecting the snow and helping him build these larger than life snow animals. Oh yeah, this isn't a one-off. Jameson's got a little bit of a history. A giant Kung Fu Panda. We did Simba a few years back. This is something he learned from his dad, and now he's passing on to his children. They help with the most important part, which is the snow gathering. So they start bringing it on in, and we start sculpting together. By the time it's ready for paint, they're usually too cold and back in the house. Standing at around seven foot tall, Jameson's giraffe is a combination of art and science. You need to get dumped on with a ton of snow and it's got to be about 33 or 34 degrees. Otherwise, it's just not going to work for these kind of sculptures. Yeah, so back out here, the mishap we were talking about earlier was that we got above freezing a little bit earlier and his head fell off. So uh, the family has been out here all afternoon rebuilding Jameson the giraffe. There's the creator right there. You're going to see more of him tomorrow morning on Local 4 News uh, this morning at Local 4 Plus. But isn't that just incredible, Kim? Karen, downtown, back to you. What a cool dad. And yeah, you were right? just saying, how does the next stay up, right? right. Like, but, I don't know how he does it. <laughs> yeah, but that's great. And you're right. Those kids have the best dad ever. Yes. He's, like you said, a big kid. That's fantastic. I love it. I love how he got the kids doing the snow gathering. It was a big family thing. Uh, Very cool. Great. Yeah, that's amazing. We usually just can't even find a carrot and a scarf that we can spin. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. That's definitely Nobody next has level. those long carrots. What's interesting is you would think that to build it, you would want really cold weather but mm -hmm. as he said it's got to be right on that cusp mm -hmm. so that it's it's uh, a very wet snow mm -hmm. that's good packing snow 